two years ago trying to get rid of the memories of last year. Yeah, and he certainly feels like this ball club is there. He thinks the chemistry is right, the culture's right, and the leadership is present in his locker room. Bryce Farrell deep to receive, and the kickoff is going to be into the end zone and returnable. So Farrell's going to bring it out, and that was not a great decision because he got hit hard just outside the 10 yard line. So a lot of experience last year. He's got a true freshman running back alongside, and Daniels is going to throw deep on the first play to Ia Manor, and it's incomplete. Knocked away out of bounds. Good coverage by DeTravis Broughton, who comes to TCU from Utah, so he has experience playing against Stanford. Going deep on the first play of the year. Yeah, and rightfully so. If I had Alec Isle Manor at my disposal at quarterback, I'm going to take an early shot as well. But the interesting thing that we saw with TCU. And Daniels. 2,200 yards last year, 11 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. Very productive for the Cardinal. And off here is the true freshman. And Micah Ford with a really nice gain. Penalty flag comes in, though. In fact, two of them. So this one could be coming back. We'll see. Micah Ford, true freshman, getting the start at running back for the Cardinal. I think that's going to be holding on tight end Sam Roush. On the outside, 86. Would have been an 18-yard run. Holding offense. Number 86. Half the distance to the goal penalty. Second down. Sam Roush, the tough player. He can. Third and 13. Daniels. Plenty of time in the pocket, and he's going to throw over the top into double coverage, and a penalty flag is thrown. Well, that was just unnecessary. That pass was not going to be completed, and yet intended for Jackson Harris. That's going to be a Stanford first down. Certainly is. Good chance that gets a targeting Pass call on Richard Tony. Defense, number 23, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. So as of now, no targeting. Yeah, no targeting, but that's definitely a defenseless player running down the sideline for the Cardinal. Richard Tony hitting in the head and neck area. It's pretty close. Looks like he catches his shoulder. Certainly pass interference. And just a play like you said, it was unnecessary. You didn't have to make that play. You're about to get off the field. You're going to give your offense a short field. That's just an undisciplined, uncharacteristic play. Sonny Dykes does not want to see that out of his ball club. I mean, third and 13 from the eight yard line, and the penalty gives Stanford their first first down of the year. Play fake, quick hitter, right side, good blocking on the outside. The pass completed to Ishmael Sisi, who's a game. Yeah, Sisi, one of those players that had a tremendous camp for the Cardinal. Quick snap, Daniels scrambling. Daniels is going to run for it. He'll get the first down and much more. And then he took a hit way out of bounds. We're going to get two more penalty flags. Again, for TCU, just completely unnecessary. To Travis Broughton, the cornerback transferred in from Utah. Tons of playing experience. Started 29 games for the Utes, a play that he knows is just not necessary. I get it. It's early in the season, early After in the football the play, game. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness. Defense number 13. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. But even though it's early in the football game, start of the season, you finally get to hit a different opponent besides your own in camp. You got to play discipline and you got to keep your emotions in check. Yeah, I mean, he, he easily gave himself up and went out of bounds there. And I guess to, to Travis Broughton's defense, Daniels did, he did kind of initiate some of that contact himself. Still got to back off there. That ends up being a 30-yard play with the rush and the penalty. Now TCU gets the sack. Obi Iser got in there from his linebacker spot, and Daniels goes down for a loss of six. Obi Iser, former safety, two seasons ago in the national championship run, played middle safety for the Horn Frogs, moved to linebacker last season. One of the best blitzers in the entire country from the linebacker position. You can see the speed and tenacity that he plays with. Big time play for the all-conference player a season ago. So second and 16 for Stanford into TCU territory. CC, the wide out, goes in motion. 
And Ford gets the carry, spins away from one would-be tackler, but just couldn't get away entirely. Marcus Deal, and that's two more yards going in the opposite direction. Marcus Deal, big number 95, redshirt freshman, the younger brother of Devin Deal. Devin Deal's time, the transfer from Tulane, he was an American Conference player of the year last year does a tremendous job off the edge not fooled for a second with the eye candy he he wasn't fooled with the misdirection his big play for the horn frogs on first down so another negative play that one lost nine yards yeah Devin deal big part of that Tulane program Stanford it's amazing this drive their offense that's Irvin for, with nowhere to go Stanford has nine total yards, and yet here they are inside the TCU 40 because of all the penalties. Well, outside of the 15-yard penalties, there's a lot of things that aren't looking great for Stanford right now. Up front, there's been a lot of free runners between the linebacker position for TCU, and right there, Kayla Fox, number 90, from the defensive tackle position, came scot-free. If TCU doesn't bail out Stanford, they're not moving the football right now. You think there's a section on Troy Taylor's uh, play sheet? How do we get a penalty called against the defense again? <laughs> on third and 19. TCU almost jumped there. They're bringing pressure. Daniels gets away momentarily. Now he's going to scramble. Ashton Daniels cuts it toward the middle. And the ball comes out of the end of the play. Stanford has it. He had the first down yardage anyway with the long scramble. And Stanford will keep possession. I think that's CeCe who fell on the fumble. What an incredible play by Ashton Daniels. Nothing open downfield. Credit TCU and man coverage covering down on all the wide receivers. Ashton Daniels showing his athleticism, getting outside the pocket, and then give some credit to his wide receiver, Ishmael Cece, for hustling down the field and being there to recover the fumble. Third and 13, third and 18, now third and 19. I've never seen a thing like it. On their first drive of the year, and it's first and goal for Stanford with an empty backfield. Daniels. A design quarterback run straight ahead and well defended just a couple yards there. It'll be second a goal. Yeah, going back through the memory bank, I can never think of a team, even in over the course of four quarters of a game, converting that many third and longs. Goofy start to the 24 season for TCU and Stanford. 11 plays, 82 yards, all the penalties, the one big scramble. And it's second and goal. Irvin with Daniels, almost like an option style play, but really the only option was for Daniels to keep it. He leaned inside the five down to the four. Johnny Hodges with another, another TCU tackle. Yeah, once again, an unblocked defender coming off the edge. Johnny Hodges making the tackle for TCU. Third and goal. If I'm Stanford here, if I'm Troy Taylor, I'm going to get Ashton Daniels outside the pocket. I want to. I want to get him an option where he can either throw for the touchdown, go, go run. You have to know where number 13 Alec Manor is. You want to try to get the football in his hands. Plenty of time on the play clock for Daniels. Third and goal. Looking right, throws end zone touchdown. Jackson Harris just found a little opening, stayed right where he was, and Daniels finds him for the first touchdown of the year. And how about Jackson Harris, the redshirt freshman? That's his first career touchdown. Yeah, keep an eye out here on the outside. At the snap of the ball, you're going to see the outside linebacker widen And create the opening right there. Johnny Hodges, linebacker 57, was just frozen reading Ashton Daniels' eyes. Great job by Ashton Daniels to find the voided zone. You find Jackson Harris for the touchdown. Both these teams have brand new kickers. Emmett Kenny is the place kicker now for Stanford after Josh Carty got drafted into the NFL. So the first point after try of the year after an 13 play 89 yard drive that took more than seven minutes kind of a high snap but the kick is up and good 
Well, and if you're Stanford and you're trying to have a bounce back year, 